Hello, what's up? I'm Pit, and I am going to teach you how to enter bottom of the well and get bomb chews. This tutorial is geared towards beginners and does not use the fastest threads, so bear with me. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to jump in the well and climb back up. And now what you're going to do is a trick called Navy Dive. So you're going to mash B until you see Link jump slash, and then you're going to mash C up. And what will happen is while Link's leaning back, he'll talk to Navi and then he'll fall, and he'll fall through water. So we just have to wait for Navi. This is a very easy trick, and a lot of newer players use it, because it's very hard to fail. As of for bottom of the well, the first thing we are going to do is get a small key. So just kill this skull till I move on. So we get this small key so we can open a locked door through a crawl space. What's going on is we're going to do a glitch called actor glitch to unload some of the actors in this room. So the water that you see here won't be physically there anymore so we can fall through it and go to dead hands room early. Basically in actor glitch what's happening is the camera acts weird when you leave a crawl space in this game. And while that camera is weird, we can open the door. And what's happening is we're going to open the door but not go through it. So the next room's going to load. And what will happen is those actors will unload. So what you're going to want to do is when you leave the crawl space, you're going to want to hold between down left and down on your analog stick. And when you see Link's head move, you're going to roll and then mash A to open the door. If you fail the trick, there's a couple things that can happen. One, you enter this room like this. Or two, you don't open the door at all. The way you know you got this trick is if you hear the door opening and closing, but you do not enter it. So what you do is just crawl out and crawl back in and retry. Like that. And then just go back the way you came. So now, we open and close that door without going in the next room, so the actors are unloaded in this room. So we can fall through water, which isn't actually there. So this means that we can get to Dead Hands room without the ocarina or Zelda's lullaby. So, what we do now is we go through this room to fight Dead Hand, a mini boss from Bottom of the Well. And now, let me pause to explain this for a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump slash into one of these Dead Hand hands to spawn Dead Hand. And the jump slash serves two purposes. One, it gets you grabbed by the hand and spawns Dead Hand without without you being caught for too long and the next thing is it stores damage and the reason why we're storing damage is because we're gonna use an attack called power crouch stabs when you hold R and then you press B Link will do an attack called a crouch stab and now this attack doesn't have a set damage value on its own this <clears throat> this attack does the same amount of damage as your previous attack so say I did a slash this attack would now do the same damage as that slash, which is one damage. If I do a jump slash, and then I do a crouch stab, it's going to do the same as a jump slash, which in this case will be two damage with the Kokri sword. So, I want to jump slash into this hand to store damage and get out of its grasp quickly. Like this. And now dead hand will spawn, and we crouch stab him to hit him with lots of damage very quickly. Now he'll turn around, and what you can do is you can time a jump slash to hit him before he disappears. Uh, this saves a little bit of time, and it's kind of easy to fail, and I feel like it's one of these things that you just need to learn the timing on his own. On your own. Alright, 
And now that um, makes it so that you can one cycle dead hand. So you can make it so that he doesn't go underneath the ground multiple times. It saves quite a bit of time. Oh, the Lens of Truth will spawn in this chest right here, and we typically don't get it in runs, but <laughs> in speed runs of this game, because the Lens of Truth is usually unneeded. But what you can do is you can grab a, a rupee, a gold rupee, in this invisible chest behind the chest. This can help for buying a shield in Narb in a wrong orb, or like money in bingos. And now next, we leave the room, and notice how there's a Skulltal here that wasn't before. That's because we had Actor Glitch before and this guy was unloaded. But now since we left that room and came and reloaded this room, he's here. The point of what we've been doing is to make it into this area of bottom of the well with this guy loaded. Because what we're going to do is we are going to damage the Skulltula. And on the same frame that we have the Skulltula damage us, we're going to re-grab vines and clip through the vines. Because what happens in this game, when you drop off vines and then you re-grab them on the same frame that you take damage, you'll clip right through them and into out of bounds. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to swim in out of bounds to bomb choose. There are a couple ways that you can set up vine clip. But for the sake of a newer player, what I'm going to show you is a setup. You climb up the vines, you slash your sword, and you turn left. Uh, um, what you would normally do is when you leave the room, or when you enter this room, you just back walk. You grab these vines, hit left, target, and then slash. And now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to time your slash to slash him while he's at the height of his motion. He goes in an up and down pattern. Right now you can see that. So while he's at the, to the top of his pattern, so when he's at the top of his motion, you're going to slash your sword. And then after he takes damage, you're going to turn around and then back walk, which is hitting Z and um, holding it and then holding back on your analog stick to grab the vines. So. I'll do that right now. Okay. And what you're going to want to do once you hit the vines is climb down so that Link's left hand is downward and his right hand is upward. Kind of like this. <laughs> and now what you're going to want to do, what I'm doing right here is a trick called pause buffering. It's unpausing my game and then repausing my game in a certain timing which I can accelerate frames of the game. <laughs> as as closely as possible. Alright, now what happened is you saw some legs of the Skulltula and then they disappeared for a second. And now what I'm gonna do is pause buffer another frame and you should see the legs again. Like there. There are two skinny legs up by your C right button. This is my cue to know that I'm one frame away from when I want to start dropping because for vine clip we have to drop and then re-grab vines on a certain frame, so we'll pause buffer one frame. And here's our frame. What we want to do on this frame, notice how, notice what the legs look like. Um, the leg will be going in a downward, the right leg will be going in a downward left slant and then a downward right slant, as you could see. Um, basically what you're going to want to do on this frame is hold down on your analog stick in the pause menu. And then you're going to want to unpause and then hit A. Like press and hold A, so then you're pressing A and unpause lag. Um, and you're going to want to keep buffering until you get one frame of that. So hold down, press pause, hit A and unpause lag, and then pause again. If you don't accelerate a frame, repeat until you get one frame. So... Like that. And now what we're going to we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drop for a couple frames, but just by holding down on your analog stick, just pause buffer. Notice how um, you maybe can't see it, but the leg of the Skulltula uh, by the C right button, the bottom part of it used to be red, and now it's black. That means that the Skulltula is done taking damage, and this is the first frame that is done taking damage. We want to accelerate to the second frame that he's done taking damage, so we want to hold down for one more frame. Nice. 
And now what we do on this frame is we hold forward on our analog stick. And what we're going to do is we're going to re-grab the vines and he's going to hit us through them. And what we're going to do is then swim in out of bounds to the bond shoes. Let me show you. All right, now hit down left on your analog stick when you land and Z target. Swim straight and mash B to swim faster. And then turn towards this room and open the chest. Congratulations, you just got bomb fused in bottom of the well.